Hey everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. Today, something a little bit different. We have another power bank here, 20,000 milliamp. It's from Anchor, but it has a charging dock and not just a charging dock, but a charging station that will allow you to plug in up to three other devices. So you guys know I like some of these unusual things, smaller type battery packs and 20,000 milliamps is the least that I recommend. Let's take a look here. We have three ports, USB-A to USB-C's, both in and out. And we do have a smart screen that should be coming on here, but it is not. And we have pogo pin charging at the bottom, which is great, nothing weird there. Do not know why the screen's not charging, why the screen's not coming up. Okay, so let's take a look. Oh, cool, we have one of these sort of standard utility type plugs, nothing weird or proprietary. Easy to replace that. Oh, we got this nice little felt carrying case. And of course the dock itself, we'll take a look at that in just a minute. What else is in here? Ah, we have an included 100 watt charging cable and of course your standard manuals. Uh, oh, adhesive tape, huh? Interesting. So you can use this to um, help stabilize the base. Okay, all right, all right, that's cool. All right, let's take a look at this now. Uh, we'll peel this plastic off. Yes, yes. So there's some kind of screen on there. And of course the three ports on the side, we're gonna look at that. Here we go, USB-A and two USB-Cs. We'll look at the power configuration later. Okay, so we have basically a, a circle that flashes. <laughs> I'm assuming that when we pop this guy on here, the circle will flash and we'll start to charge. Let's see what happens. And nothing happens. Hmm, the smart screen still isn't working. Maybe, maybe I've got a dud. I'm keeping this all in by the way, just to show you something. So we'll, I know unplugging it and plugging it in backwards doesn't mean a damn thing, but you know, let's be thorough here. Let's try putting, a, let's try charging it from the side, from one of the ports. Let's plug it into the top. Um, hello. Oh, short circuit protection has been activated. Well, that can't be good. Hmm, okay. <laughs> now I'm starting to freak out a little bit here. Maybe I got a bad unit. Let's try plugging it into the bottom. They're both ins and outs. And what do we got? Oh, wait a minute, here we go. 100% battery health, battery cycle. Everything looks kind of normal now, okay. Looks like whatever that problem was cleared itself up. All right, it says 50%, but uh, that's not actually right. We'll find out that in just a minute. So if we put it on the charger now, it says 0% and it shows that it's starting to charge. Very strange, it sort of came in some sort of a weird configuration, but from this point forward, it pretty much behaved itself. I haven't seen any sort of repeat of that particular problem. All right, let's do a couple of power tests using the Steam Deck. We're going to, of course, use Next Machina as our background game so that we have a reputable means of testing power consumption. We will use our USB-C voltmeter and we're going to plug in the official power brick just to get a baseline. Now we are at 26% battery, so this should be playing the game while pulling full juice to charge the battery. So once this enters demo mode, right now it's consuming 33 watts. And during game, this is a pretty hefty game. This is what I do all my benchmarks on. So you can see it's pulling about 37 watts total during the demo and while properly charging. And you can see the charge rate is going up. One minute, 45, or one hour, 45 minutes, somewhere in there. And of course that dials in as it syncs everything up. And as soon as this demo is over, that's gonna change. So now what we wanna see is the exact same test, only this time we're going to use, we're gonna use the actual anchor now, plug it in, and we're gonna wait for that demo. So we can take a look here. This says it's pumping out 38.4, 38.3. This says it's pulling 37, 37.12. Uh, so there's definitely a little discrepancy uh, between the two numbers, but let's take a look. What we really wanna see is the same amount of power being pulled. We said it was about 37 before. It's about 37 now, right? So this is delivering adequate power, the same as the brick, to play and charge at the same time, getting roughly the same charge rate, which is pretty much what we want. That's, that's, that's the test, right? That we can do that. So the next test will be, 
can we charge whilst we're powering through? The power bank cannot be used when recharging and on the stand. So there is no plug-in pass-through, so that's out of the question. However, can we plug into the 100 watt port while this is charging and still get the juice that we need? So you can see here, we're charging now. Okay, it's pushing itself up to, well, it's at 50 watts. Let's take a look together, if we can. So we're getting 50 watts to the battery, which is about half of its full charging speed. And we'll go ahead and wait for this test to kick in. It's looking like it's about the same. So we're able to get, don't go to sleep. All right, so let's take a look. Can we still get about 37? It's looking just about right while we're still getting 50 watts here. So it looks like, um, yeah, so it looks like you can charge the bank while powering up and charging the Steam Deck at the same time. That's the shooting solution that we really, really want, and we got it. Now, we have other ports here on the bottom, of course, uh, and we're gonna show you some configurations on the screen because I can't memorize all of these, but there's one, two, three, and four port charging numbers, and we're gonna show that on the screen right now so you can tell what uh, configurations you can use. Now this does max out at a total of 200 watts. It also depends on how you use these plugs. Again, I'll put something on the screen for you to see, but for the most part, I think everybody should be happy with it. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at not only a new portable charger, right? That can replace the brick, which is awesome because a lot of people need something with more juice to power something like a dock, right? So if you have a dock and you need 65 watts, this is gonna provide it for you. You don't need to go off and buy, say, my favorite TechNet 65 watt. You don't need one of these because you've got this base that can do the job for you as well as charging the battery even at the same time. So that's it. So let's take a look at some numbers on the screen right now. You probably wanna know how long this battery uh, will last in parallel play. You're gonna wanna know how long it takes to charge up the Steam Deck with it. We've got those numbers on the screen right now, and they are pretty much on par with what you would expect from a 20,000 milliamp battery. That being said, this is considerably smaller than my favorite Anchor 737 model. They're about the same thickness, but there's definitely a shortness. Actually, the weight's not that much different. <laughs> this is still heavy and so is this, but this is a little bit lighter, but not by much. So yeah, and you get the same sort of smart screen technology on both that uh, I've grown to enjoy uh, with these particular models. So if, you know, 20,000 milliamps is the minimum I recommend with anything Steam Deck related, this actually does the job and it does the job uh, very well along with all the bonuses. Right now, this unit's running about $109 on sale. Uh, you missed the Black Friday, $109 uh, on Amazon, but if you go to Anchor's own site and a couple of other sites, uh, use Google Shopping if you like, look this guy up and you will find out that it is uh, absolutely on sale for $109. That gives you, now remember, that gives you a full, a full bore base, along, you know, basically replacing one of your chargers as well as a 20,000 milliamp battery. That's a pretty good deal, especially if you need this configuration. This is very handy. Being able to just go over here and drop it on the charger and go to bed after I've been playing Overwatch 2 all night, <laughs> it's very helpful, it's very handy. I do recommend this. If, if this is a solution that you need, I definitely recommend it. It's Anchor. Earlier in the video, you saw I had some problems. Haven't seen them return. I have no clue what was going on there, but I haven't had any problems since, and you can see here, going back to that top charging port, everything was fine. Listen, I hope you like what you saw. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Shane R. Monroe. We'll see you next time. Take care.